figured I would uh, pick up here. I'm just about where I'm ready to continue on. I just wanted to point out that I think it's really cool that the uh, elevator has a counterweight. Nice little touch of detail. Keep trying to push it down to go outdoors. But anyway, yeah, cool little detail that. Um, sure, let's see what's over this way. Living in, uh, well, near DC. I was actually living in Arlington, just across the river from DC, over by the Pentagon. But still, after wandering around DC in the uh, Ma'am, Madam, early Milady. morning, middle of the night, whatever. Taste. Guns, C band, Intel, uppers, downers, flip your head around us. Me, I'm your man. I have to say, I have a seething hatred of nightclubs. Just walking past them is the most infuriating thing ever because there's so many self-important assholes just standing around waiting to get in. It's like, don't you have anything better to do with your life? Eh, humans. Anyway. This guy sounds interesting. Petey, haven't we seen this name before? Bit kind of, you're a bit young to be dealing with that kind of With stuff. all due respect, Mom, from my experience, there ain't no young on the street. They survive and there's or don't. Now, how might I be of service to you? What you got? Oh, this is the stuff we've picked up. Presents, stimulants, shockwave. Clearing attack, powerful enough to kill all viruses around you. One use only, 150 bucks. Ooh, interesting. Okay, we have to stop by here at some point. High end data chip. Grants 200 XP for 300 bucks. Interesting, interesting. Old data chip. Kind of interesting how you can. I XP. That a cube. Grants one skill point. Ooh. See now, now let's get interesting. I think. It's gonna be interesting or terrible. But yeah, we might have to spend some money on that kid. How it goes. It's uh interesting. Well, let's mention somewhere. Go in there at some point. Grand restaurant. Shame. Crying shame. She was one of the good ones. One of the best. What did he die? No. The restaurant was one of the good ones. They're shutting her down. Farewell, Tagliatelli Al Samone. Gonna miss you. Name's AJ, by the way. And your respects, huh? That. And some. I'm a curious cat, me. Something tells me that makes two of us, am I right? But this isn't the best place to talk. If you want to talk wise, come. We can go to the Nightingale over there. It's a dump, but it's got more privacy than a black hole, okay? Talk. Don't worry, I'm not trying to hit on you. This dump is the last place I'd take a girl on a date. Good. Anyway, that restaurant back there, Eden, Quarantined. The restaurant was quarantined? Did someone die of food poisoning or something? No idea. They've got a tighter lid on this than an elephant on a manhole. I did some probing. This is my neighborhood, see. And found out that Eden got shut down after an impromptu health inspection. Could just be cockroaches in the kitchen. Girl, take that back. You ever eaten their gratin dauphinois? The Eden chef was a magician. Cockroaches. Now, trust me, Blue. I've been in the digging business long enough to know when there's shit beneath me. Okay, listen. Biofarm Tech did the inspection, got their own agents. But guess who was the food supplier for Eden? Biofarm Tech. Now, 
Why would they shut down one of their own customers? Why not just fix a health problem if they find one? Add blood? Cover up? Who knows? Somebody does. You never told me why you're interested in the story. Huh, I thought it was obvious. Everyone all over knows my game. I'm a reporter. Old school overthrow, that's me. Started my own news agency. Still, uh, a one-girl show right now. Well, two if I include you. I do my own running after scoops, dig in the dirt, you know. Finger on the street pulse, old school, baby. Not like those hackers in their mama's basements fighting for a freedom they'll never go outside to see. I, I gotta go with the, uh, fearless makes me hot. You and I gotta oh, yeah. hang out someday, girl. <laughs> well, I wasn't always like this. Used to work for the system. Fat News Corp, fat salary. But any story trickier than a cat up a tree, and they buried it. No, I'm meant to be my own boss in this line of work. And sure, there are risks, but it's all about staying a nuisance, not a threat. That and knowing who you can walk over, who you can't. It's true, I'm on everyone's radar, but known faces are hard to cap. Remember. Who is Biofarm Tick exactly? So that's it. You're here from another time, another dimension. Don't they have corporations where you're from? <laughs> Biofarm Tech is only the biggest organic food company in the world. The last truly ethical one, they'll say. And they've got fair trade, animal welfare, and charity programs to prove it. Where's the catch? Girl after my own heart. The whole thing's a catch. Most people lap up their PR like kittens around cream. We're so desperate to see a corporation that won't screw its own mother for better margins that the whole town's painting rainbows over Biofarm. But you can bet there's nothing but pots of gold underneath it all. What's the plan? How are you going to find out what happened to Eden? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm kind of stuck right now. I tried speaking to the owner of Eden, but it's obvious he got paid to keep his mouth shut. And my informants are just as in the dark as I am. And to make matters worse, the suits at Biofarm know me. Not the first time I've lifted their skirts. If I showed up at their office, they'd sooner toss me out of the window than talk to me. But you, you could help. Did you had a network of informants. Why me? Well... Informants sounds fancy, but it really means meatheads, pros, and narc runners. Ones I know won't get as far as the biofarm lobby without security turning them right back out. You're at least presentable. And you have wits enough to wangle some intel, I'm sure. And for me. <laughs> Why? Two weeks in Hallelulu, of course. <sighs> this is about good deeds, girl. But sure, if you help me crack this case all the way through, I'll give you your due. And don't worry about repercussions. I'll make sure no one knows you're involved. All right, I'll help. What do you want me to do? Awesome. Right. Their main office is in High Rise, so start there. Ask a few questions. Be subtle, though. Don't barge in throwing around accusations. Doubt you'll turn up anything, but give it your best shot. And whatever you learn, come back and report. I have a feeling I'm going to want... Um... Uh, charisma skills at some point for this sort of thing. What's this? Oh, darling, don't be shy. Well, little autograph ain't no thing. What's your name, honey? Autograph? I'm sorry, I'm not sure I know who you are. Of course you don't. Different times, different worlds. Nowadays, young'uns listen to nothing but neuro beats and sound walls. Barbara don't ring any sort of bell in there at all. Well, you can bet your mom's twerking tush she was a fan. <sighs> Dang it, maybe it's better if I'm out of the sweet spot of that limelight for a while. Being a star can be a cross to bear, ain't no mistaking. These sound kind of terrible things, like terrible things to say. Um, perhaps I can help. Ha <laughs> ha! 
listen to you with the quick liquor. Well, you can see plain as day, I got me rid of that problem a long time ago. But troubles don't stop coming, just with different faces. So. Oh, nothing I should be bothering a youngin' like you with. Just some Looney Tune fan taken to sending me threats and other nonsense. I'd give it no time of day, but she, uh, I'm guessing it's a she, has the audaciousness to be sliding the letters under my door. How about that? Sure don't make a home feel much like a home. What do the letters say? Just ramblings, accusing me of stuff I never did, threatening to get me or replace me, would you believe? You know, I might be able to help. Like. Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? So, I've been doing some real hard thinking. And you know what? I reckon this pen pal of mine lives in my neighborhood. I mean, how else could she drop letters off at my place every day? Now, something tells me you ain't stupid either. Maybe you could snoop around, dig out who's behind this. My building is number 39, in high-rise. And here's the letter she wrote me just yesterday. Maybe you'll figure something I missed. Take a look. I'll be the new you. A better you. Creepy. Whoever wrote this clearly is no fan of crime films. You're going to send threat letters to use newspaper cutouts, not your own handwriting. <laughs> Scientist found dead with ties to organized crime? Ties with organized crime? Word matter word order doesn't matter. Word matter doesn't order. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually haven't been drinking today. Shocking discovery was made this morning as one of Samio Inc.'s most prominent scientists was found lifeless in a back alley near Afterlight Boulevard. Ian Calderson, 36, was one of the company's lead researchers, and his death will surely prove to be a setback to Samio's near future operations. The circumstances of his demise are troubling, however. Calderson's body was brutally battered with a symbol crudely carved into his bloody forehead. The symbol now identified as that of the Cedars, a local gang dealing mostly in drugs and black market augmentations. What was Calderson doing in this part of town in the first place? It was known for its seedy bars and clubs. Was this murder more than just a case of wrong place, wrong time? Was he involved in dealings with the gang, and was his death a warning to others who crossed them? The full story may never be revealed, but our investigative journalists will follow the story closely as it unfolds. Okay. More reason to check out the Cedars. Ellie from BA. Lane? Lane. Ah, Lane! We've got great news. We've got the job. We're officially going to work on you know what. Isn't it great? You and I, just like always. We made sure to explain that if they wanted one of us, they had to hire both. They know from our track record that we will work much better as a team anyway. I'll see you tomorrow, but couldn't wait to let you know. You had a Jessica for me. My dearest condolences from Ellie to Jessica. Dear Jessica, I want to offer my serious condolences for Lane's passing. You know how close he and I were. I always considered him the brother I never had. I'm truly devastated by what happened. I hope you're not paying attention to what those vultures in the media are saying about him. We both know he was an upright, honest man. He always talked about you with a spark in his eyes, and I'm sure wherever he is now, he's watching out for you. If you ever need to a talk or something to cry on, I'm here for you. Okay. Is that the... Lane Calderson? Yeah, okay, so... It was his place, apparently, huh? Life beyond augmentations? Repairing our body aug organically! Which is why in the near future you could possibly repair you could possibly repair our organisms. Whether at an organ tissue or cellular level, you 
been able to artificially grow human organs in laboratories for a couple of decades already. We may have recently reached encouraging new milestones in our research for molecular level regeneration. Beyond that, it is realistic to contemplate developing naturally enhanced organs, such as stronger arms or keener eyes, without the need for mechanical implants. R&D departments and several mega corporations have already begun to shift priorities, which is uh, their priorities, such as the Panacea Group, who would benefit greatly from. Interesting. should be going the other direction and dealing with that drug lab and other stuff. But here's what else exploring and stuff. No one's ever home when I break into their apartment. I your data shield. Awesome. One of those one time use hacking abilities. Data shield. Camilla's huh. note, huh? Like old city of Barbara. Mom to Camilla. Camilla, we're excited for your next month. Excited expecting you next month for your father's birthday. I hope you won't forget this time. I'll be honest, we're starting to get worried. We haven't seen you in a while now. I'm thinking of coming over to visit next week since you won't even bid chat with us anymore. What do you think? Mama, no, don't come over, please. I'm fine, I swear. I'm just very busy these days. I try my best to make it to your dad's birthday. Don't worry, PS people don't say vid chat anymore. Mom, get with the time. Barbara fan forever. Camilla, what happened to you? Your fan site was the best. I loved all the exclusive pictures and story about Barbara you put there. Why'd you close it down? Thanks for the kind words. Unfortunately, I've decided to suspend the website for a time. I'll keep you all updated when the right moment comes. Make sure you reply. When the right moment comes, sounds like something on the horizon. Pray tell. Indeed, I will not say more. Well, that something is emerging on the horizon, you are right. Something us Barbaretto's are owed. Expect to change, keep your ears to the ground. Okay, so this person's a crazy one. Got front letter. Betrayed us all. Well, so that means we found our uh, person, and we're also going to steal from Barbara. Why not? Software disk, control paralysis. Paralyze your target for a few seconds. Use to learn or upgrade, AR only. Sweet. That could be useful. Uh, 
letter, threat letter, threat letter, Sheriff sure, Barbara. The corp to Barbara. Barbara Sullivan, in regard to your previous conversation, we to inform you that your request for a payment extension has been declined. We ask that you transfer the sum of 14,650 credits to the account blah 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 by 11-11-2037. If you fail to comply, we will be forced to take necessary action, including repossession of the items you purchased. Interest will continue to accrue as per our contract. Barbara's last album fails to conquer charts. Of course, it's still one of a kind, thanks to her recent vocal enhancement. The former teen queen of pop remained firmly stuck in a simpler past where music was about little more than catchy melodies and simple lyrics. The rise of new music genres, which use multiple sensorial experiences through the implant innovations such as Echo Corp's Neurobeats, Barbara's music feels more than just antiquated, it's limited and restricted. Her never shrinking fan base may courageously campaign on social media for a comeback of real music. Their pleas will likely fall on deaf ears and among today's youth. <laughs> Wait, there was a uh, four or five, wasn't there? Still shooting me as I was walking slowly out of the door. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> tempted if I want to try that again. Probably uh, wander off screen first and come back and try it again. charge a little bit, I guess.
Hmm. Alright, let's try this again. Why did I die there? I don't understand what happened. What the hell? I don't understand what happened there. I got hit once, and then I died three seconds later. I need to go look at the fucking recording or something, because that didn't make any sense. Let's try this again, but... Yeah, not really. So what I think is happening is that viruses are attacking... My actual little, like, personal, uh, force field here. So, um, that seems to be what's going on, so I need to protect that end. Or it just... no, it just... it just goes down by itself. I don't understand. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I think I took out all the stuff. I'm slowly thinking I might have some sort of understanding of some of this stuff. And there was a bottle of champagne in here, so hey! Celebrate. Anyway, new patent case won by Biofarm Tech. In their latest legal battle, Biofarm Tech scored a major win against Univ Foods. They reversed the federal court judgment of invalidity of their newest patent, Purple Ace. Biofarm Tech's ace attorney, Miranda Porowski, unexpectedly used a loophole in the Section 105B of the Plant Protection Act, forcing the court to revand the case until further notice. This means for Unifood is that they'll be forced to pay a license fee should they wish to grow beetroots of the purple ace variety. Those beets reach maturity in only six days, breaking the nine-day record previously held by Unifood's own Boston Bright variety. This is uh, Parowski declared, We are encouraged by today's decision and continue to explore all av available avenues to event our intellectual property and will not allow competing companies to steal the fruit of our scientist labor. It's just like real life. Looks like there's other things up on the second floor still. I have to have line of sight in order to uh, do anything about it, huh? God damn it, that's annoying. I don't suppose I can just shoot the things. Well, that was significantly easier than trying to hack the damn thing.
there a way to reload? According to the keyboard controls, it's R. But there doesn't seem to be a way to reload with the controller, which seems to be somewhat of an oversight. And one Heck of Miranda's PC. I don't know who Miranda is. 100 bucks, Miranda's PDA. Miranda was being blackmailed. Her husband's life was threatened. Can you use it? Okay, so this is the lawyer, I guess. Barowski, we are aware that the Iker Corp is, case is placing you in a difficult situation, considering that your own husband was directly responsible for this series of tragic accidents. We must nonetheless remind you how vital it is you win this case in the name of justice. Yes, but it is also for your own sake. Should you refuse to use the evidence we provided you with, you will be left with no alternative but to retaliate and expose your husband's involvement directly in the press. The consequences for both his career and his life would be tragic. Surely face a life sentence for the death of so many Iker Corp employees. There we go. For some reason the uh, keypad wasn't working. You pigs, all the evidence is fabricated. You know as well as I do, my husband is nowhere responsible for those accidents. You're framing him. Framing Iker Corp. You're surprised by your righteous claims and we will ascribe them to an un understandably high emotional state. Must know that we are uh, we are obviously other pro there are obviously other prosecutors who would love to take the case off your hands. We simply are offering a lucrative deal. Should you win the case, you consider your career as private attorney for your for our conglomerate. We would also do everything in our power to ensure your husband continues to live as a free man. Should you refuse or lose the case, however, we will not be able to guarantee his your safety or his. Pleasant fellows. Ah. What the hell? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's being drawn towards it. There! These controls are all sorts of fiddly. Miranda, Mrs. Prowski, one of her most dearly beloved associates, the city magistrate uh, Dominic Carmichael, has been wrongly accused uh, of, and it pains us to even uh, have to write these words, sexual assault on a young woman. Claims are outrageous, as you can imagine. The alleged victim is backing her accusation with realistically falsified evidence. After some consideration, we feel it would be best equipped to lead the defense. We hope 
You'll see it as a welcome departure from your usual prosecution work. We will, of course, provide you with all the counter evidence you need, and we are certain you will manage to defend our friend successfully. An innocent man's life is at stake. Yes, I am totally going to try to cheese this turret. For a whole 20 bucks. Cheese is delicious. Dean Aranda was successful successful handling of the biofarm tech case. Uh, I know you are aware of the implications the loss would have had for the financial situation of the company and its presence in the Asian markets. Please be assured that your payment will be transferred soon. We'll be in touch when you require your services again. Icar Corp case. Icar Corp case is facing a different situation considering your husband was directly responsible for the series. Okay, we've already seen these. Okay, let's get out of here. What's in 
here. Trial Roger Voss orders a shutdown immediately after a well publicized trial of Mr. Prosecutor Maria Dabrowski won the case in which somebody thought would be buried under the pressure from the wealthy Iker Corp Corporation. Its leading research facility, Redwood Watts, opened only a few years ago and featuring state of the art technology and security systems, was ordered to shut down after a series of mysterious, deadly accidents occurred. Ms. Dabrowski was facing an uphill battle representing the citizens of Harbor Prime against the mighty Iker Corp. Similar cases have been closed in the past due to financial pressure from the defendants, many of which claimed was a proof of ever-growing corruption within the legal system. This time, however, due to compelling evidence produced by Ms. Sparowski, such as the detailed schematics of the security system and video footage of some of the accidents, denial was impossible, and the judge ordered Iker Corp to abandon his facility and pay a sizable fine to the victim's families. How the prosecutor manages to procure this evidence remains unknown, but all signs point to deep-rooted connections. So I guess that means her, uh... The problem with being, having your husband be blackmailed was uh, fix or something? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, if I can find this Miranda person. I think we'll go find a load screen so this thing saves. Once again, the save system in this game drives me nuts. And I think we might call it here, actually. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good one.